Oh, hey, just a quick one for me. This badge that's making the rounds on social media, I will pay 100 pounds to Acorns if that is, in fact, the final badge. I should be donating that money to Acorns anyway, but I'm just saying, no designer of any reputation or credibility would ever use a drop shadow effect in a modern badge that's going to represent an historical large club like Aston Villa because that effect is so hard to replicate in so many applications like stitching or in a monochromatic design like this one which all badges need to have they need to have that flexibility and I simply cannot believe that a man with Chris Heck's background would allow a badge to be released this way I can't it's a diversion to me and my understanding of the trademark process is that when you go through it, you are not just reserving the whole package, the final design, you are also reserving elements of the badge, the lion, the 1874, the name Aston Villa, and I wouldn't use that font either, the shape of the badge, all those things you are reserving because it's a long process. They may not get approval for quite some time, maybe even a year, but they have to go through the process and they have to reserve those elements. I believe we're going to see something pretty nifty coming out very soon because this badge has to be on the new kit probably starting now. The design process for the kit starts right now in order to have it ready in the summer.